Today's video, we're gonna be replacing a hub for a 2008 Jeep Liberty. My name is Rick Burrows. You're watching Fix It Rick. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Now let's fix it. Using a 19 millimeter, we're gonna loosen it a quarter of a turn. The reason why we're doing this, when we lift the vehicle, we're gonna loosen it. It's a lot safer to take it off. Now let's lift the car up with a floor jack and put a jack stand underneath it. So we have a jack stand supporting the frame of the car and we're going to leave the floor jack there too. Now that the vehicle is off the ground, we can take the rest of the lug nuts off. Now all we have to do is grab the wheel from the side and pull it off. Now it's time to remove the caliper. In order to do that, there's a 21 millimeter bolt on the top and on the bottom. You don't want to take the top one off completely because when you get the bottom one off, it's going to fall. There we go. Now we simply grab the rotor and pull it off. We need go ahead and cut the little supports off. You can see the little red tab right here. This broke off. All you have to do is just separate it at the bottom. There we go. Now, let's, now we can remove I can just move it. Use a flathead screwdriver or a Gerber to twist and pry this off. Using a 19 millimeter, we're gonna remove these three bolts. Now we can remove the hub. So this is what the old hub looked like, and that's the brand new one. So the plate that we took off has to have the cable go through it first. So it'll look something like this. Now let's put it back on. Now let's put the three bolts back on there. Let's take the rotor, put this back on. To help you get the caliper back on, put a couple lug nuts on there. Now it's nice and steady. If your caliper doesn't get on there smoothly, that means the brakes are being compressed. Grab the brake pad and then squeeze it back in place. Now let's put the cable back on for the hub assembly. So basically, we're just going to connect it right back to the brake cable. I'm going to bring the cable around, reconnect it to the old spot. Let's connect the cable back together. Now you can slide this back in the hole. So as you're looking at this cable, you want to make sure that nothing is going to make contact with it. It's not going to rub up against it. Now let's raise the car up, take away the floor jack, uh, the jack stand, and then lower the whole car. Go ahead and tighten it down. Oh, that was the wrong size. <laughs> you want to tighten it just so it feels nice and snug. Thanks for tuning in to Fix It Rick. Hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment below. And always remember that Jesus Christ loves you, and only He can solve your biggest problem.